Hello everyone, how are you? It's K. So this is the 20th of September 2022 on Tuesday and the markets are ranging today. This is recorded at uh, 7 a.m. UTC right now, but uh, the market's ranging. So I thought that this is perfect timing to talk about the importance of waiting and the importance of staying away from the charts. So let me switch screen and talk about this topic today. Okay, so um, yeah, I have been trading for the last nine years full time and trading is my main source of income. And for the, but for the first three years, I wasn't profitable. For the first two years, especially I was losing, losing. And then for the third year was break even or a slight profit. And then from fourth year onwards, I started to make profits every year. So looking back my trading career, um, waiting is really important. Uh, what I mean uh, more is more of um, not doing anything um, when the markets are not really in your favor than forcing yourself to look for the trading edges, trading chance. So let me show you um, some uh, examples about the markets, um, about this concept. So again, this is world clock. This is at 7, 10 a.m. ETC. So you know when, what time I'm recording this video today in your time zone on this world clock. But uh, yeah, let's see. So here is the trading view. Um, so I ha I just did the screen charts from Euro USD all the way down to Swiss franc JPY. This is my this is these are my pairs on my watch list. I I monitor 21 pairs on my watch list and uh, look for which one is trending and which one is ranging. And the ones that are trending, I look for an opportunity when I screen charts. So this is, it was my first screening of the day today because in the morning, I usually wake up in the morning and um, yeah, I just uh, have a cup, of, a cup of coffee or tea and uh, read the books. Also, I go to gym and come back and then I start to check charts the first time in the day. So I think I will do the daily routine on, the, on my second channel as per request. So please look forward to it. But uh, yeah, so today in this, in this morning, I didn't take any trades. I just checked charts, but no trades. And so um, if you are following my YouTube channel, then you know about the KTS K's trading strategy, which is um, the multiple time frame Ichimoku analysis. And I get the entry timings on the five minute time frame. So, when I screen charts, basically what I do is I split the window into two like this. And um, on the left, I put the daily. On the right, I put the four hour usually. And I check which one of these pairs is trending um, either daily or four hour. So, and as I screen like this, all these pairs, I can see that these are all ranging. Well, EuroCAD 4 hour is up because Kumo, Senkospan, AB up and Kijun Sen up, but mid time frames uh, are ranging, obviously because it's range. You know, I can just in case check the 1 hour is flat and 30 is also flat. So this is the market to stay away. It might reverse in this case. It may reverse back to the Kijun Sen. So I kind of stay away. Also, daily time frame shows still in the Kumo. And yesterday was doji, and uh, two days back was this in, uh, inside bar engulfing candle. So inside bar, two days ago, and doji yesterday, still the market is inside of the candle in the Kumo. So the market should be volatile and spiky, not lower time frames. As you can see the week on the four hour, you have lots of spikiness in the lower time frames. So this is the market to stay away until the market breaks the resistance. So I stay away. For now, Euro Swiss franc is flat, USDJPY flat, or oh, daily is up on the USDJPY, but the mid time frames are flat. Four hour shows P wave. So I wait for the P wave to break bullish. Still not yet. 
and I don't think that's gonna be happening in the next few minutes or a um, couple of hours so I will stay away you see CAD is up in the daily but uh, retracing back to um, the 4 hour Kijun Sen and mid time frames are flat so I simply stay away so I screen charts like this and I just did it a couple of minutes ago and I found all these markets are ranging in the mid time frames. So what I used to do when I was still losing and when I was still busy on trades was let's say so for example I check the I take the USJPY, I see daily is up. So until the daily candle close today. Kijun Sen remains up and the Senko Span A remains up. So what I used to do was I I check the let's say I take the on the left I place one hour, on the right I place the 30 minute and wait until the market trends. I mean continuously monitor the chart until the market start trends. So like this I place two time frames well back then when I was a newbie I had more screens and I had more charts in, in my screen but uh, just to give you an example uh, what not to do right this is not to do so you, uh, you, check, you have the one hour here 30 minute here and you wait for either time frame to go up so looks like 30 broke the Kumo and Kijun Sen is up now so you might want to wait for the Kumo twist and Kijun Sen out of the out of the Kumo and then look for the buying edge. Right? So and this may happen in about maybe one hour, two hours, three hours, we never know. But for the next one or two hours, three hours, you continuously monitor chart. So I mean monitor chart means let's say uh, you put this chart on your screen and then you never close but you keep posting you, you, you keep putting this chart on the screen and then on other screen on other mobile on other laptop you do other work like replying emails or you do the work on your job or uh, you do something else you read the book maybe while opening up the chart on the, on the, on the screen and looking back that was my huge mistake. So now what I do is simply if I don't see any trading edges, if I don't see any trends confirmed on the mid time frames, I simply close. I simply close and I don't check charts anymore. That means I don't monitor anymore. So what I do is I come back a couple of hours ago, sorry, a couple of hours later like a 2 or 3 hours or sometimes 4 or 5 hours later whenever I can and then check charts again. So let's say I come back to chart 4 hours later and 4 hours later the market may move up this way, 30 may go up all the way, You uh, maybe I will observe the Kumo twist or Kijun Sen up, up out of the Kumo and then I take trades, I look for an entry chance then. Um, yeah, but uh, I don't continuously monitor the chart. I don't open charts continuously and monitor until it goes bullish. And this psychology, this um, mindset is really important not to monitor chart all day. So do not put the monitor, do not put the chart on the monitor until you get the confirmations. You have to close the chart. Physically close the chart and stay away physically also from you and chart and then you reset your mind because if you still open the chart like this on screen when you're reading the book um, the chart is still here so sometimes you, you, you face up and uh, you check charts, okay, no trends yet, and start to read the book. And then maybe 10 minutes later, you face up and check charts again, like this. You're going to be so busy in mind, and you will lose 
both of them. Like you can't fo focus on the trades, you can focus on the book. So simply you you are wasting time in that way. So instead of you know keep posting the chart on the screen, I recommend you if you don't see any trading chance opportunities, then simply press the X mark and close the chart. Physically close the chart from the PC, a mobile, laptop, or a tablet, everywhere you close chart, and then come back a few hours later. So when I say this, you may ask, so what if the market goes up and I lose a chance? So let's say the market goes up and by the time you come back, like two or three hours later, the market may break the resistance here, and the market may go up to this level for sure. And then you may feel you lost these pips along the way. You knew the market will go up, but um, you miss a chance, you fail. But it's okay, because markets are moving 24 hours every day. So in case you miss these pips, like uh, this is, let's see how many pips you're gonna miss. It's uh, like 30 some pips, 35 pips in case. Uh, even if you miss it, it's okay because the market is ranging now in terms of my strategy. So that means the market may have also be range continuously uh, because we only see what we want to see and we don't tend to see what we don't want to see. So um, what if the market start to go down and up for the next four hours? Then how, how would you feel? You feel, okay, I was good, that I stayed away because there was no trends. But if the market goes up, that's when you start to feel formal. That's when you start to feel, I missed a chance. So, but market is neutral, so we have to think neutrally too. So, um, in other words, even if the market goes up, towards your direction, or even if it goes range, while you're away from the chart, it's okay. It's just fine. Let's say if the market goes breaks uh, resistance and goes up, and you see Kumo up nicely, Junyu Sen up nicely, and Kumo's not too thin, Kumo's thick and long, and you get the um, entry chance then, then that's good, you take it. You take that entry chance then. But when you come back to the chart three hours, four hours later, and when you do the same thing, you're not gonna spend so much time. You, you, you're not gonna spend like uh, more than uh, 10 minutes or 15 minutes with my strategy to screen charts. But so, it, so let's see. So after you come back, so, uh, sorry, um, let's say three, four hours later, when you come back to the chart, you spend 10 minutes screen charts and see what which one is trending and which one has the confirmations opportunities to trade and take execute a trade it only takes 10 minutes after 3 to 4 hours or you spend 4 hours 3 to 4 hours from now and then wait for the chance to come which one's better is in my opinion the first one the first option Stay away from the chart for three to four hours and then come back and spend 10 minutes and check charts and take entries. This is about time efficiency. And this is the way to avoid the formal. And again, I tell this because I was the one who continuously monitor chart like 12 hours or 14 hours per day and always looking for opportunities on these markets. But now I don't do it because again, I like I mentioned before on my lives or videos, how many hours you spend in screening charts and monitor does not really matter, does not really relate on how much you make profits. Uh, also, the number of trades does not really relate to how many profits you make how much make profits you make. So they don't relate. So if they, not, if they do not relate, 
then um, we better spend less time and screen charts whenever we can, but still, you know, give some intervals about a couple of hours in between the day. And then check charts, spend only 10 minutes or 15 minutes, 15, one, five minutes. And then if you have opportunities, then take it. Otherwise, you stay away is my strategy. And after I do this, after I start to trade in this style, I feel so much relaxed, so, so relaxed, and I feel no stress anymore. I mean, even if I miss a chance, even if I may, if, if, even if I may have missed a chance, then it's okay with me. It's totally okay because I know the market will be moving tomorrow or from today now on, the market will move and whenever I capture the opportunities, I take. Uh, this is one last word, but um, you know, um, I regard the trading, uh, trading opportunities as like taxi, looking for taxi, looking for the Starbucks, or looking for the post office. Like uh, whenever you look for it, it's not there. But when you are not looking for it, it's always there, right? Like uh, I was when I was in Japan, Tokyo, there are lots of post office, and I was. One day I was on the, some uh, area in Tokyo, kind of far from my home, and I was looking for the post office. I know there are so many post offices, but I opened a Google map and it says post office like 15, 15 minutes by walk. So I was like, okay, I saw the post office yesterday right next to me when I was working town yesterday. The day before, there was post office right next to me. Always, it's there. But when I'm, when I'm about to mail to someone and look at the Google map, it's 15 minutes away. So 15 minutes away is just fine. I can just walk, no, no issue. But psychologically, I felt like um, post office kind of far <laughs> because it was always there, right next to me, a couple of days, uh, for the last couple of days. But this is about psychology. Whenever you look for the coffee shop, it's not there. You feel it's kind of far. But uh, I think same is true in trading. So that's why I value time efficiency. I mean, um, every time you look for the market opportunities, it may not there. Let's say when the market's ranging like this, you will never know how many minutes or hours it takes for this market to go up and uh, um, um, get the opportunities. You never know how, how many hours it takes, how many minutes it takes. It may take only five minutes, or it may take uh, one day, two days, maybe. It may keep ranging and finally breaks. But um, this is about time efficiency again. So that's why I only check charts uh, three to five times per day, and each screen times I only spend five minutes. And if I can find the entry opportunity in five minutes, then I take it with my strategy. Otherwise, I completely stay away, and this is exactly the timing where I stay away. And that's why I decided to talk about this topic. I thought this is perfect timing to talk about this topic and make a video about this. So my strategy is basically creating my own. I never learned Forex trading by someone. Basically, uh, um, I, I attended some seminars, I read the books, of course, but all my strategies, especially mindset and risk management part, uh, is on my own. And time efficiency also is my, my own. I don't really See, people talk about time efficiency in trades and um, also the importance of staying away from the markets. But uh, I think it's really true. For the last nine, year, nine years of trading career, I think it's really true. So hopefully you get the same mindset and try to stay away from the markets. Do not always check charts every day um, with or without the trends. 
you can stay away and come back stay away come back until you see you can find some opportunities okay so i hope you enjoy today's talk so uh yeah so this is tuesday and today we have a couple of big news and this week sorry this week there will be an fomc so just watch out whenever you have big news ahead about 30 to 1 hour uh, later then stay away also and come back after the news because I don't trade by the news and I don't really expect which way the market may go by the news I simply follow the trend by Ichimoku directions and that's it so yes thank you so much again and hope you have a great day today and see you in the next one so until then please stay healthy and stay safe and stay gold. Alright, bye for now everyone. Matane. Thanks so much.